Hey, buddies! Potato McWhiskey here, and welcome back to Let's Play Endless Space 2. And we're starting another game because the Endless Space developers decided to go ahead and release the game, which kind of made my old save file with the Vodiani kind of pointless. Um, so we're going to go ahead and uh, get started here. I'm going to start a new game. Let's start completely from scratch. I think we are going to be playing this new faction here, the Unfallen. Now, we could create our own faction, but I think I want to do a couple playthroughs of the normal factions. I tend to... I have this bad habit of, like, I'll keep restarting games, trying to make, like, the best faction I can. So I'm just going to play the Unfallen. So let's take a quick look at them. They, uh, they have the Celestial Vines faction affinity, which means they can use their ships to expand their tendrils to adjacent systems. When a system is anchored this way, they can colonize it or let it provide bonuses approval of population growth to friends uh they're also the unfallen they get extra food uh on fertile and extra food just in general so they're good for growth um they start with off-world agribusiness they have the guardians faction trait which allows the discovery of guardians on planets guardians provide benefits to their owner and their friends while penalizing enemies and they have mutual understanding which is plus 10 percent troops damage per friendly faction on empire and plus 10 percent uh damage per friendly factions on ships they have planetary landscaping, which is a starting with this tech, which is a starting tech. And then they have harmonious two, which is plus 16 per alliance on systems and plus eight approval per peace on systems. So they're very, they're very passive and very friendly kind of civilization, which is actually um, kind of actually how I like to play these games. I don't like to really play aggressive um, unless I have to. So we're going to have a look here. We're going to play on normal. We're going to play on a medium galaxy size and we're going to play with six competitors, I think. Uh, should we do random? No, let's uh, let's pick the let's pick each uh, each one in turn. So that's Horatio Riftborn. If I add if I actually add two more competitors, I could have one of each uh, civilization in the game. And I think we will do that. We'll go up to eight. We'll go up to a larger galaxy size. Um, we'll leave the galaxy density on medium. Uh, number of constellations unique uh we'll go for many and we'll go for a high density galaxy just for interest's sake and uh, tell you what why don't we do a how about a disc an elliptical disc galaxy that sounds like fun now we're just doing sort of normal stuff here uh so we have one of each enemies one of each civilization in the game uh to play against and we're ready to start All right, so we're loading up. I'm looking forward to seeing these guys as uh, this civilization's sort of story and stuff like that. I'm gonna I'm gonna be quiet during the opening movie, but after that, I'll start talking again. Can I just say also, the music in this game is fantastic. I really enjoy everything about this game. I was I'm just having trouble actually learning to play it. Um, kind of a bit of a difficulty for me. This new fire also awoke things inside us. Talents, truths, and a desire to heal the galaxy. Everything begins with fire. But we will not let everything end with fire. Very cool. I already like these guys, so it seems like there's some sort of tree, um, or, or almost plant-like, organic sort of, uh, race. It seems they, it, it, now just sort of interpreting uh, based on the story of the, that was shown to us, it seems like they're very much so, uh, 
and, and, and their theme seems to be about balance and peace and, 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 and tranquility, which is really cool. I like that. I like that theme. We look here. We found the Academy. Oh, we already found the Academy. Uh, wow. That's, uh, that's lucky. So Galter 1 is a small lava planet. Galter 2 is a large ash with an atmospheric curiosity. Galter 3 is, has 2 as an anomaly and a curiosity. Is Harrow, which is a destroyed planet with the Academy, and then a large gas cold planet with multiple moons. Cool. Okay, this screen is very nice. So it looks like there's a few anomalies we're going to want to explore. Okay, the path of fire and light. Oh, no, I didn't mean to make that go away. Oops. Uh, Luna Barx has joined your empire. So basically, as far as I can tell, some alien species started a war on our planet, or war came to our planet, and that woke us up, sort of. So let's go inspect this hero. Now, the question is, he is a seeker. So what could I do with you? So extra movement... Complete health, growth, science. I think, um, let's, uh, do I want to use him as an explorer? I think I will use him as an explorer, maybe. Can I? Create a fleet with this guy in charge. So yeah, I can send him out on his own. Drop. So I think something I want to do is then if I'm going to send him out on his own, he's going to need an exploration module. So wait, what's this? Uh, a string gravitics engine. Okay. Basic high eye plating. These are basic weapons. Okay. Um, Plating, shielding. Do you have shields? I could put shields on you. We will also do that. And then I'm going to want to put probes. And an engine. Supply design. I don't have enough money. I don't have enough money. Okay, I got to be I got to be much more conservative in what I do. Uh, so we definitely want the probes. What if wait, what if we take off something? I want to put the probes on. The probes are expensive, apparently. Take off guns. Uh, okay, we're gonna we're gonna just not. Yeah, I think we're just not gonna send this guy on his own. We're gonna join him up with this fleet. In the meantime, and then we'll uh, we'll we'll bring him back when we have a little bit more money, and then we'll upgrade his ship. So let's start an expedition here. Um, so Koyasil has a guardian curiosity. Oh. An ancient seed of life has been discovered on this planet. Okay. Guardian on planet Koyasil. So... Oh, Guardians. Oh, 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 Guardian. Oh, it's like a population thing. Okay, so the Unfallen have extra growth okay and what about these guys what do they do the guardians born from dormant seeds of some ancient art entity guardians thrive on planets where they are keepers of forests and proponents of peace um 200 damage done to attacker during ground battle oh wow that's really good actually damn damn okay so there's lots of guardians here now the question is if i unlock the guardians does that colonize the planet for me Guardian discovered on planet Fedex. We'll, we'll colonize this and see what happens. So that didn't make a Guardian, but we'll colonize it and see if that creates a Guardian next time. So I have no more movements. Uh, so what is this ship? 
a vine ship. So do I want to create vines? Um, how do I create vines? Tell you what, we'll send the vine ship along here and we'll see how it makes vines. It looks like we do have Hyperium and Titanium in here. Uh, so then we want to double check that our research is going. All right, so these guys seem to be pretty heavily designed around um, sort of empire building and friendliness. So we might put an emphasis on that for a little bit. For example, there's some stuff in here that I want to get. Particularly, I want to be able to get peace. Uh, see if I can find it. Where is the ability to do peace? So this is colonizing barren planets. Uh, where is the peace treaty stuff? It's up here. So this is definitely something we're going to want to uh, to make our way up towards this because it has the election senate the booster program. No, where is the peace thing? Grove of Meditation. Colonial Rights. Culture Center. Wait, I thought peace was up here somewhere. Overcolonization. Uh, am, am I just wrong? Isn't there a thing in here? Or do we just start with that ability? I'm not sure. Anyway. Adaptive bureaucracies will unlock the Denar Denarku University, which is a unique improvement. Uh, which can only be built once per empire. It would give me approval and lots of yield. It would also allow us to colonize Baron. So there's some suggested text here. Enway Fusion for military stuff. Botanical Scanning for growth. So I think I think we might go for Xenobiology here. Because it would allow me to colonize Tundra and it'll give me access to the public-private partnerships which will help my science growth. So we'll, we'll grab Xenobiology here real quick. And uh, I think that will be the end of the turn. Okay, so we just colonized Fe Fadex. And now there is a Guardian on it. Okay, so the Guardian is there. Um, if we discover the Guardian, the Guardian will be there once we colonize the planet. So we want to discover as many of those as we can. Uh, we're waiting for this guy to pick up some more probes. And speaking of which, uh, we're going to want to edit the questioner. And we're going to want to put big more engines on it. Oh, we can't put more engines on it. So we're going to leave it the way it is. Uh, I would really like to edit my, 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 my hero ship. But it seems to be like, even just to apply this design costs a certain amount of money. But yeah, I want to put a improved probes on it. And I'd like to put an, another engine on it. So I'm going to have to save up this much. But in the meantime, I suppose we are getting experience on this hero by exploring these anomalies. Yeah, I'll close this and lose my changes to the hero. Uh, and we will execute the planned moves on fleets. So there's no... Um, there's no colonizable planets here. So we'll summon a vine from an ancient adjacent adjacent uh, entwined system. The vine ship must stay in position until the vine reaches the system. So let me let me let me know more about these vine ships. What do they have? So they have the vine beacon, and is that a unique for this ship? Oh, oh it's a colonization module. Okay, so it's essentially a colonizer. Okay, that that's reasonable. Uh, we'll tell you what we'll. We'll, uh, we'll start the beacon. We'll start the vining over here. And we'll see what happens. Uh, let's end this turn. And then we'll end the turn. Oh, the queue here is not a thing. Oh, wow. Sacred Harvest. More right, more a right than a construction. This event accepts the voluntary sacrifice of a guardian in order to improve the morale of the population. Full of sonorous language of the unfallen, ancient rites of fire, clouds of smoke and dust. It is as impressive and moving as it is encouraging and renewing. Fire is present as a symbol of both death and life, and dust, like fumes, uplifts and invigorates the population. Okay, cool. So this is like kill a I don't I don't think I ever really want to do that. I don't think that's really worth it. So if I want what what do I want mostly? I think this I think this is going to grow pretty healthily without 
much in the way of farming from me. So I'm thinking maybe picking up something like Cerebral Reality. Um, or I could pick up Infinite Supermarkets and go like super hardcore. Let's pick up Cerebral Reality for the for the extra dust. I'll be able to turn that into um, upgrades for my hero ship. And then I'll be able to send them out and explore the universe. So we'll go end turn here. Um, we'll explore this final anomaly that I think it's also a guardian. Yeah. And that should level up my hero in theory. We discovered a guardian here. The power of the academy has reached level two. Heroes will start at this level when recruited. Okay, cool. Um, hero leveled up. Lunabarxes has gained enough to experience level reached level two. Uh, so let's go check out his hero skills. Uh, so we could, let's have a look at some of these, these things. So plus one, free movement speed on fleet. Okay. Extra science plus 10% food, fleet health. Um, I think we'll take the exploration stuff, right? Yeah. Let's take the exploration stuff. I think the seeker, I want to try out the seeker stuff. We're not quite, we, we need to get up to 160 something, I think is the, is the goal here. So we will, now we can move this guy. Are there anomalies over here? There are anomalies over here to discover. So we will end the turn and make our way over here. So the question is, we need to have a look at this and see if there are any particular planet unlocks we want to do. This is a huge gas burning. Okay. Large steps, small tundra. A large Arctic. I think we are actually unlocking Tundra right now. We are. So we will be able to colonize this um, soon. So it's good for us to do a bit of exploring. We'll move this ship along. Um, and then we'll get it to wait here until we have um, have more probes to explore. All right, we're about to finish the Cerebral Reality, which should boost our science and our dust income. Oh, here we go. Here's, a, here's our story. Uh, we woke... We awoke ages ago. The first of us came to life fully conscious as if from day one, as if from one day to the next, the dawn changed us. We did not worry about ourselves with this. However, for ages, we simply grew and thought, listening to the heart and learning about the world. Our world, Koyasil. We sunk our roots deep into the soil to see what lay beneath. We gazed at the stars and tracked their passage across the sky. Why seek anything else? What more is required of life? Then these others came, bringing their conflicts and their violence, driving us into self-doubt and confusion, asking to ask where did they come from is a brief step away from asking and where did we come from. We hear the murmurs of the heart and it soothes us. It speaks to us of serenity and strength, but the old reassurances are no longer enough. They fade in with the old vision of the universe. It seems that we are one small clod of dirt in an unthinkably vast galaxy that we must raise up our limbs, shake out our roots, and look beyond Koyasil. Some may say we do not need to look outwards. We have Koyasil in the heart and they will protect and guide us. Some say that new knowledge is critical to our future, that the violence and aggressive science of others must be controlled. I do not back either side in this debate. I would not see us limited to Koyasil, nor would I see us enslaving the others. So, A random technology for having two anomalies in our empire or 60 dustidious trees to grow more. I think we'll go for the possessed two anomalies in our empire. I think that might be a little bit more achievable. Some of the some unfallen insist that we must grasp the new sciences, the new ways to understand ourselves. Thirds become ships and ships explore. Cool. Are you ready to explore? You are ready to explore, and I want to do it on the Tundra. Where is the Tundra? So, uh, signal, electromagnetic message of unknown origin and age, possible findings, anomalies, or loot. Okay. Your analysis of the signal on Planet Primus 3 was successful. We found some Transvine. Cool. Um, we won't be able to explore the other things soon. New luxury resource discovered. Okay, we have a few. So the Transvine is the happiness resource. That's actually really cool. 
We just finished Cerebral Reality in this city. That's going to give us much more money. Uh, infinite supermarkets, maybe? Let's have a look. We could use some production. We are pretty light on production. Lots of food on these planets. Not a lot of production. Um, I could pick up another vine ship and send it out. That's kind of an expensive project. Um, but it wouldn't be a terrible project. I could get another exploration ship, but I don't want to do any exploration without my hero. Uh, I tell you what, I might pick up the infinite supermarkets just to go like super happiness and see how that goes. And uh, you know what? We're going to call this an end to this episode. I'm, I'm keeping these ones a little bit shorter because I don't have as much time to record because I have to go into the hospital um, next week. So I will be a day, there'll be a day, a day or two where I won't be able to record because of that. So I'm doing shorter episodes. So I want to thank you very much for watching. I hope you guys are enjoying this series. Please remember, if you want to see more of me playing this game, you subscribe to my channel. If you want to directly support my channel, please leave a like on the video. And if you want to give me your feedback on this, what do you think of the Unfallen and so on and so forth, make sure you leave a comment. Other than that, I want to thank you very much for watching. Hope you guys are enjoying it. I love you all very much and I'll see you next time. Bye bye.